This book is called Stars, and it's written by Mary Lynn Ray, and it's illustrated by Marla Frezzi. A star is how you know it's almost night. As soon as you see one, there's another, and another. And the dark that comes doesn't feel so dark. What if you could have a star? They shine like little silver eggs. You could gather in a basket. Except, you know you can't, not really. But you can draw a star on shiny paper and cut around it. Then you can put it in your pocket. Having a star in your pocket is like having your best rock in your pocket. What different? Because a star is different from a rock. Pin a star in your shirt and you can be a sheriff. Put a star on a stick and you've made a wand. If you hold a wand the right way, you might see a wish come true. Not always, only sometimes. You never know about a wish. You can give a star to a friend, but never give away the one you keep in your pocket. You need to know it is there. Some days you feel shiny as a star. If you've done something important, people may call you a star, but some days you don't feel shiny. Those days, it's good to reach for the one in your pocket. If you ever lose your star, you can draw another, or you can find one. There are places. Moss, where you might see fairies, is made of green stars. White stars in June grass become strawberries in July. Yellow stars on pumpkin vines become October pumpkins. Snowflakes are stars. Blow a ball of dandelion and you blow a thousand stars into the sky. A button can have a star on it. And if you always brush your teeth, someone might give you a red or green or blue or gold or silver star. There might be a star on the calendar to mark a special day. But the stars that come with night, for those you have to wait for night, you need some dark to see them. It may help to have on pajamas. Then you look up. Almost always you will find one, and another, and another, and another. And if sometimes you can't see them, they're still there. Every night, everywhere. The end.